everybody is liberated according to all the enlightened masters because the enlightened masters are liberated. Therefore, they can see it from a liberated point of view because they know that all the bad karmas, all the obstacles, all the illusionary burdens and bondage that we, the ordinary human being, feel is only nonsense. It's only dreaming a state. There is non-existent at all. We have never been even born. We have never committed anything wrong. It's all because we wander into the illusionary maze. Therefore, we believe that we are in trouble. The more we try to get out of it, the more we make more trouble. But actually, we originally should not be there, in the maze. That's it. And we forgot everything about the previous connection before we lost into that maze. Therefore, from the one who stay outside of this illusion, he knows <laughs> that originally you're not like that, and you make trouble, you cause trouble, and you are in trouble just because you have been lost in that maze, you've been thrown into that maze, or somehow you wander into that illusionary maze that caused a lot of trouble for you now. And all the trouble that you made while trying to distangle yourself from the maze or try to escape from that is forgivable, is understandable, and is originally illusionary anyhow. The maze is only a game inside. So whatever you did inside, it's only a kind of game. And anyhow, you were cheated into it. You don't know anything about it. You just try to get out. This is the system of the maze to make you make more trouble and make you difficult to get out. So everything you commit inside there is non-existent, right? No sin, no crime, and it is very natural. Only the one who tried to help you out understand all this. And you don't need to seek even forgiveness because you have not done anything wrong. If somebody throw you into that maze, it will all things appear in hallucination and all cheating or nothing that is real, only making trouble for you, then how can you are blamed for whatever you do to get out of that? And even if you killed or you do anything inside, it's only because you're forced to. And also the maze is illusionary anyhow. So that's it. It's just like when we went into a kind of a Disneyland. Uh, in America there is a place called Disneyland. Inside there appear all kind of huge animals and huge persons and all that because of the movies. So sometimes when you visit there, you feel like you were in some kind of a distant uh, past. And all that animals are very fierce. From their mouth comes out the fire and all that kind of destruction, yeah? But this is all game. If you don't know about this, you're frightened and nobody explain it to you and you think it's real and you might try to get out of that place and you might damage some of these animals. But these animals are not real anyhow, so you didn't kill anything. It can be replaced any time. For you have not done anything wrong at all, according to my view, according to what I have studied from other masters in the past and present. But it's difficult to convince most of the people about this point of view. Because when they're lost inside this game, they don't remember the reality. It's difficult to remember. Therefore, we must use some kind of power to awaken their memory about their real self. That is a method, Gwenning method. Just, and then you remember. <laughs> At least something. At least you're half awake yet, and then you can slowly recover the whole consciousness. So that's why we say we are all originally pure Buddha liberated. <laughs>